Tonight's weather report brought to you by Mitre 10. That's mighty helpful, Mitre 10. G'day folks, Livio Regano with tonight's weather. Once again, we've under forecast the rain across far north Queensland and the clearance keeps getting delayed. I'm tempted to just give up and acknowledge it'll keep showering forever, but we are finally seeing some improvement. Over 30 stations scored triple figure rainfalls overnight, including Tully, Innisfail and Cairns. The state's highest total was 176 millimetres at Japoon Vale. Temperatures are almost back to average, though still a degree or so on the cool side thanks to heavy cloud. Tomorrow should hit 30 again. The satellite loop is very predictable. All the rains in far north Queensland, with the usual division being around frosty mangoes, sort of just south of Ingham, where the onshore winds start to accentuate the rainfall. As we go south, it hasn't been bone dry. We've had little showers and storms basically popping up around the Darling Downs, even parts of the Wide Bay Burnham. And on the central coast, the Whitsundays have been sort of nailed by southeasterly showers all day, even though they haven't made it to the mainland, at least not for much of the time. Now, for today's chart, we've got a southeast easterly trade wind pattern. It's the same one we've been holding for quite a while, which is why it hasn't been so hot. And there it is from that high coming across towards Tasmania, anti-clockwise wind flow moving up the coast in this direction. That's the inland trough that's triggered the uh, storms or, or tall showers uh, west of the ranges today and on the ranges. On tomorrow's chart, the trough kind of disappears, so we don't get the storms anymore. We may still get one or two showers along the coast, but for the most part, it'll just be breezy and mostly fine. And on the outlook chart, it'll continue. And by this stage, in the tropics, it should start clearing up nicely. And now the latest from the Weather Bureau, the boating forecast for Cairns waters. Southeast winds up to 25 knots tomorrow, then settling back at 15 to 20 knots from the southeast on Sunday and Monday. The moon is very full right now and the ocean is swelling and shrinking like there's no tomorrow. The high tide will be quite late in the morning and pretty massive. North tropical coast and tablelands, a minor flood warning again for the Tully River. Showers and possible storms tomorrow with Cairns reaching 31 degrees, 27 for Atherton, Innisfail 31 and Mariba 30. Looking ahead for Cairns, there's a risk of showers every day in the next seven, but next week the odds do seem to be a little lower for what that's worth, also a subtle warming trend. For Atherton, we're staying most of the time in the high 20s, but by Thursday, as you can see, we'll, we'll probably reach 30 degrees. Well, that's another week gone. They sure go quick. Enjoy your weekend, whatever weather it brings. And I look forward to all of us convening once again on Monday, same time, same channel. Catch you soon. And now it's back to the team. Yeah, good on you, Liv. Thank you, mate. Nice having your company. Have a great weekend. See you Monday. A reminder, you can watch a replay of 7 News on 7 Plus and catch up on our page at 7news.com.au. From all the team, good night. Good night.